In today's tutorial, we will be discussing Tinkercad, a free cloud-based 3D modeling software you can use at home if you're interested in designing for 3D printing. To explore how to use Tinkercad today, we're going to be designing a really simple rocket. Start by logging into your Tinkercad account and clicking Create New Design. This will make your work plan appear. Now, Tinkercad auto-generates a fun name for each of your individual projects in the top left corner. Also in the top left corner is a cube that allows you to change the orientation of your view of the work plane if you click on it and drag it. Zoom in and out of the work plane, simply scroll with your mouse to your trackpad. To move the work plane back to the original frontal view, you can click on the house-shaped button in the left side of the screen. To start our rocket, drag a cylinder onto the work plane. When the object is selected, several boxes are visible. These allow you to change the size of your selected shape. If you're going for a specific dimension, you can actually type that numerical value into the boxes that appear on the left and the right of the shape. Next, drag a cone onto the work plane. This needs to sit on top of the rocket like a hat, so click the black triangle above the shape to lift it off of the work plane. To align your cone with your cylinder, select both objects by left-clicking, holding, and dragging the cursor over the two shapes. Now select the middle dot and both rows of dots that appear to center the shapes to each other. Now our rocket is ready for fins. Drag a wedge onto the work plane and adjust to the desired size. To rotate the wedge, place your cursor over the curved arrow towards the edge of your shape. A dial will appear and allow you to rotate the object at an angle. The farther out that you pull on that dial, the smaller the increments that you can adjust by. Now, before you repeat this process with two or three more wedges, let me show you how to duplicate a shape. Simply select the object that you want to duplicate, and then look at the toolbar in the top left-hand corner of your screen. You're going to notice a button that looks like a stack of papers. Go ahead and click on that, and voila! You've got a exact duplicate of the shape that you want. Wow, this is really starting to look like a rocket. Now that we have several shapes in our work plane, let's group those shapes together. Select all the shapes on the work plane and look at the toolbar in the top right. You should see a button that looks like a square overlapping a circle. This button groups together all the selected shapes. To ungroup those shapes, simply double click on the rocket. Grouping is important so that we don't accidentally move one of our pieces as we keep designing and it makes sure that when we do a 3D print, it prints as one object. Now let's give our ship a porthole, because who would want to go to space and not be able to see outside? One really easy way to do this is by selecting a ring shape and adding it to the front of the rocket. Then, group your shapes. This version of a porthole would print pretty easily. Now if you don't like that type of porthole, we do have another type of porthole that we can make that probably wouldn't 3D print as easily. Select the striped cylinder in the shape library and rotate it on its side. Place the cylinder in the middle of the rocket and then group your shapes together. This will create a hole so you can see directly through the center of your rocket. The problem with putting a hole through the center of a structure is that the top of the hole doesn't always have enough support to print correctly. Sometimes we end up with drooping or failed holes, which isn't always ideal, but this varies from design to design. Now let's say we do want to 3D print our rocket. Another way to make a porthole would be to make a partial hole. Let's ungroup our objects and make the cylinder a lot shorter. Now put that cylinder back in place and regroup your objects. This leaves you with a shallow indent and a porthole that would be much easier to 3D print than a full hole because it's fully supported. And just like that, we've completed our rocket. Click the export button in the right hand corner of the screen and export as a .stl. Load your file onto a flash drive and come visit us in the forge during open making hours if you want to 3D print. If you want to continue with Tinkercad, I highly recommend it. Autodesk has thought of absolutely everything in terms of helping people through the design process, whether you're designing a D&D character or a new handle for a cabinet at home. When you're done with your design, load it onto social media and tag the Science Museum of Virginia. We'd love to see what you're making. Happy designing!